The Giles ventless exhaust hood that is mounted on your Creator's popper has a three-stage filter system that will filter the grease vapors that are produced when popping corn. With proper care and maintenance, the hood will provide years of trouble-free service. We recommend that you take a few minutes to watch the video to familiarize yourself with the filters that are in the hood and the proper cleaning and maintenance procedures. Following these procedures will minimize potential for future equipment repair and costly downtime. Failure to follow the proper cleaning procedures may cause the popper to shut down. Cleaning the filters will need to be done at the end of the day. Your machine will come with a soap tank which is used to clean the EAC filter and a second EAC filter which will be rotated with the one in the machine when cleaning the filters. To access these filters you will need to remove the filter housing access panel. There are three filters in the hood. The first filter is the baffle filter. This filter is a washable filter that should be cleaned daily and let dry overnight. The second filter is the EAC filter. This filter is a washable filter that should be cleaned daily and let air dry overnight. Your machine will come with two of these EAC filters that you will rotate when cleaning this filter. You will need to be careful when you handle this filter. The third filter is a polysorb filter. This filter is a disposable filter that should be replaced every 30 days or as needed. To clean the filters at the end of the day, you will first need to remove the filter housing access panel. Then remove the baffle filter. Fill a wash tub or a sink with a non-corrosive degreaser and hot water. Place the baffle filter in the cleaning solution and let soak for several minutes. Then be sure to thoroughly wash the baffle filter. Remove the baffle filter from the cleaning solution. And be sure to thoroughly rinse the baffle filter. Place the baffle filter on paper towels on end in a vertical position and allow to dry completely overnight. When reinstalling the baffle filter, make sure the airflow arrow is pointing towards the blower in the hood. To clean the EAC filter, we will need to start by filling the soak tank with a half gallon of mild, non-caustic, biodegradable degreaser such as Simple Green or Clear Magic and six and a half gallons of hot water. Do not use dish soap as this will leave a film on the fins of the filter. The cleaning tank has a fill line which will aid in measuring the proper amount of water. To clean the EAC filter, remove the filter from the hood by grabbing the handle that is on the end of the filter. Then place it gently into the soak tank. Allow the EAC filter to soak for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, lift the filter by the handle and jog the filter up and down fairly vigorously in the solution to help remove the grease residue. Carefully remove the EAC filter from the soap tank. Rinse the EAC filter in the sink using hot water. You will need to be careful as you handle this filter as not to bend the aluminum fins or damage the ionizing wires that are on the filter. Failure to do so may damage the EAC filter and cause the popper to shut down when the filter is installed. Place the EAC filter on paper towels on end in a vertical position and allow the filter to dry completely overnight. While the EAC filter is left to dry overnight, you can insert the second EAC filter into the hood. Be sure the EAC filter is installed with the airflow arrow pointed towards the blower in the hood. The polysorb filter is a disposable filter. This filter cannot be washed. You will need to dispose the filter every 30 days or as needed. There is an indicator light that will assist in determining when the filter needs to be replaced. When replacing the filter, be sure to install the filter with the arrow pointing up.
Every 30 days you will need to clean the inside of the filter cavity. You will start by unplugging the machine from the wall. Then remove the filter access panel. You will then need to remove the three filters from the hood. Spray some mild biodegradable degreaser on a soft towel and wipe the inside of the compartment, filter channels and contact plate and the back of the housing to remove any grease that may have accumulated in the hood. Be sure to check the plunger switches in the back of the hood to make sure that when you press them that they spring back. There is a maintenance log that comes with the machine that should be used to ensure that the cleaning of these filters are done on a daily basis. If you have any questions on how to properly clean these filters, please contact our offices at one. 847-616-6900 or email at marketing at